So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIV 247. So पिछले कुछ दिनों से कहीं session नहीं हो पा रहा था because I was busy with the marathon sessions and the analysis of NABARD grade A phase one, right? But अब से आपका session जैसे होता था Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. it will be continued with the same timetable and at the same time. And yes, अभी जो नबार्ड वाले हैं उनके लिए मैं बता दूं कि अभी आप लोगों का काम खत्म नहीं हुआ है फेज टू इज देयर और फेज टू में एक्चुअली बहुत ही ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट कॉम्पिटिशन हो जाता है बिकॉज फेज वन में जितने भी जो नॉन सीरियस स्टूडेंट्स हैं एटलीस्ट वो हट जाते हैं राइट और केवल क्रीम निकल के आती है फेज टू में तो फेज टू में कॉम्पिटिशन आपका थोड़ा सा कंपेरेटिवली ज्यादा होगा सो यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन योर स्टडीज डोंट हैव दिस ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस की यस मेरा फेज वन हो गया तो फेज टू तो आराम से निकल जाएगा इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट ओके so you have to burn the midnight oil only then you would be able to clear this examination all right and in that i am helping you with these pib sessions and the government scheme sessions all right and in today's session we are going to talk about the pib news from first of week of september 2022 that is from first of september to 7th of september all right and in all there are 34 questions so session thoda sa lamba hone wala hai and bahut sare important question hai jo ki i believe इन दी अपकमिंग नबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन में आना चाहिए एंड जिन जिन लोगों ने फेज वन दिया है और द पीपल फॉलोअर्स ऑफ दीज से उनको पता है दैट हाउ मच रेलिवेंट एंड हाउ मच इंपॉर्टेंट दीज से आर राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन राइट टेलीग्राम चैनल पर जाओ पी डी एफ मिल जाएगी विद मार्क डांसर्स एंड वहां पर और भी चीजें इंफॉर्मेशन आपको मिल जाती है राइट right? So let's talk about the very first question. Very very important question. The Department of Pharmaceuticals has given approval to the proposal of three states for establishing bulk drug parks under the scheme for promotion of bulk drug parks. So I hope you all know this that the Department of Pharmaceuticals is implementing this scheme, which is scheme for promotion of bulk drug park, under which three bulk drug parks will be established across the country, three in three states, right? And now the approval has been given. In these three states, right? So, which of the following are the three states for which the approval has been given? That is the question. So, let's talk about the news. So, as we have discussed, that the Department of Pharmaceutical has given approval for establishing bulk drug parks in three states. And which are these three states? These are Himachal Pradesh, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Gujarat, and Andhra Pradesh, right? And the approval. Of course, has been given under the scheme for promotion of bulk drug parks, and this is the scheme under which the Department of Pharmaceuticals provide financial assistance to the states for establishing these bulk drug parks. And what objective these bulk drug uh, these bulk drug parks will serve? So they will bring down the cost of manufacturing of bulk drugs by creation of world class common infrastructure facility. So basically, the target is to bring down the cost of यू नो जो महंगी दवाइयां होती है उनके कॉस्ट को नीचे लाना दैट इज दब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस स्कीम राइट मूविंग अहेड टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट दिस स्कीम सो रिमेंबर द थ्री स्टेट एज वी हैव डिस्कस दीज आर हिमाचल प्रदेश गुजरात एंड आंध्र प्रदेश एंड इन दीज थ्री स्टेट ये कौन से डिस्ट्रिक्ट में स्टैब्लिश हो रहे इन विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ दीज थ्री स्टेट दी बल्क ड्रग पार्क आर बींग एस्टैब्लिश सो दीज आर ऊना इन हिमाचल प्रदेश भरूच इन गुजरात एंड ईस्ट गोदावरी इन Andhra Pradesh and what is the financial assistance that will be provided? So for Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh, 70% of the project cost will be provided by the central government and the rest 30% by the state government. For Himachal Pradesh, because it is a hilly state, so 90% of the project cost will be provided. And to one park, okay, to one park, the maximum financial assistance is rupees thousand crores. Okay, the maximum financial assistance is how much? Rupees one thousand crores. All right. So that is all about this news, and now let's come back to the question. So, which are the three states? These are Himachal Pradesh, Gujarat, and Andhra Pradesh. Which means option C, one, three, and five will be the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number two. Again, a very important question. Name the web-based portal launched by the Ministry of Home Affairs, headed by Amit Shah, to locate the vacant houses to CAPF personnel. I, it is an important question, but there is no need to go into the details of this CAPF. आवास पोर्टल द नेम इज सी ए पी एफ ई आवास पोर्टल तो इसकी बहुत ज्यादा डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है सो दिस सी ए पी एफ ई आवास पोर्टल हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स टू एलोकेट द वेकेंट हाउसेज टू द सी ए पी एफ पर्सनल 
सी अभी तक क्या होता था कि दी हाउसेस कुड बी एलोकेटेड टू ओनली दो पर्सनल फॉर हुम द हाउसेस हैव बीन मेड ठीक है अगर वो पर्सनल वहां पे नहीं रहता था तो वो हाउस खाली रह जाता था बट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन आफ्टर द लॉन्च ऑफ सी ए पी एफ एवास पोर्टल वॉट विल हैपन इज दैट द हाउसेज लाइन वेकेंट विल ऑल्सो बी अवेलेबल टू द पर्सनल ऑफ अदर सी ए पी एफ और राइट एंड द मिनिस्ट्री हैज अ टारगेट दैट द हाउसिंग सैंक्शन रेशो विल रीच सेवेंटी थ्री परसेंट बाई द मंथ ऑफ नवंबर इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर ठीक है दिस फैक्ट अगर आपको यह याद हो जाता है तो अच्छी बात है अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन जस्ट रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द पोर्टल सी ए पी एफ ई आवाज दैट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स टू एलोकेट द Uh, uh, vacant houses to the CAPF personnel. All right. So the correct answer is what option B. E. Awas. Question number two. Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs, headed by Hardeep Singh Puri, and he is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, of course. Right. So this ministry has given Smart Solutions Challenge and Inclusive Cities Awards 2022. These awards are an initiative of the National Institute of Urban Affairs and which of the following organizations? Very very important question. They can ask you the name of the organization with which NIUA has given these awards. Now, the details or awards are not important. That uh, which uh, which organization or which person has got these awards? Because there are a lot of organization and people which have got these awards. So that is not important. But yes, the important part is this. right so these awards have been given to address city level accessibility and inclusion challenges which are faced by the person with disabilities women and girls and the elderly and these awards have been given by niua one organization is niua and what is the other it is united nations right very very important that is why it is right and the awards have been given in three categories these are early state innovations market ready solutions and implemented solution to the you know to the to the innovations which are at their early stage to the innovations which are market ready and to the innovations which are already in the market all right and therefore the correct answer is what option a antonio guterres is the director general of united nation option a is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 4 and who is the director general of united nation general assembly unga it's mr abdullah shahid I hope you all know this Abdullah Shahid, right? Now, can you tell me uh, to which country he belongs? Abdullah Shahid, which si country? Ke? Write down in the comments. Moving ahead to question number four. Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, and he is also the Minister of Earth Sciences, right? Has launched India's first indigenously developed vaccine, which is named as Sarvovac, for the prevention of cervical cancer. with which foundation the department of biotechnology birak have partnered for the development of this vaccine right so you just have to tell the name of that foundation with which dbt and birak have uh, developed this vaccine and the name of the vaccine of course is very very important servovac and the purpose to uh, prevent the cervical cancer among women so every year 1.25 lakh women are there who suffered with this cancer and over 75000 women die uh, in a year due to this cancer and this vaccine uh, remember has been developed by department of biotechnology and birak uh, in collaboration with bill and melinda gates foundation right bill and melinda gates foundation and that is the question and the support has also been provided by the serum institute of india limited right serum institute of india limited ne support isme provide kiya gaya hai chairman of course is adar puna wala serum institute and therefore the correct answer is what <coughs> correct answer is bill and melinda gates foundation option b is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 5 name the program launched by the central council for research in ayurvedic sciences for promoting research among students in ayurveda very direct question and again there is no need of too much details from this uh, news The name of the program is Spark, guys. The name of the program is Spark, and Sparks K वाला है, C वाला नहीं है, ठीक है? It is S P R K, not S P A R C. All right, that Spark is something different. That is being implemented by Ministry of Education. That is a scheme, right? So the Central Council for Research in Ayurveda Sciences has launched this initiative, which is known as Spark, and Spark has a full form as well. And what is that? 
स्टूडेंटशिप प्रोग्राम फॉर आयुर्वेदा रिसर्च कैन स्टूडेंटशिप प्रोग्राम फॉर आयुर्वेदा रिसर्च कैन दैट इज दुल फॉर्म एंड दिस हैज बिन लॉन्च फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स विच आर स्टडिंग इन आयुर्वेदा रिकोगनाइज आयुर्वेदा कॉलेज now what is the objective why the spark project has been launched so it has been launched to promote research in the ayurveda sector and to make it globally competitive right and the selected fellows which will be provided support and which will be provided uh, support for promoting research in the ayurveda sector they will get rupees 50000 as the financial support and total 100 seats per session will be there which means in a session in a year Hundred students, hundred fellows will be provided with this rupees fifty thousand for research in the Ayurveda sector, and this has been done, of course, to promote the Ayurveda sector and the other traditional medicine areas, right? So, therefore, the correct answer is what option is Park. Question number six. Come on, come on. As per the status report on India's external debt 2021-22, which has been released by External Debt Management Unit in the Department of Economic Affairs. What is India's external debt as on 31st March 2022? Very very important question. See there. <coughs> Sorry, there are a lot of data which have been given through this status report. But the most important data is this. What is the external debt of India as on 31st March 2022? Right. This is the most important data. What are the other data, by the way? So number one is that. Number one is this only that India's external debt stood at 620.7 billion dollars at the end of march 2022 which is 8.2% more than 31st march 2021 right external debt as a ratio to gdp it is 19.9% earlier it was 21.2% uh, foreign currency reserves as a ratio to external debt stood at 97.8% right there are two important two more important data Num uh, number one is commercial borrowings nri deposits short term trade credit and multilateral loans together accounted for 90% of the total external debt out of the total external debt 90% constitute these components which are commercial borrowing nri deposits uh, short term trade credit and multilateral loans and finally the debt service ratio fell to 5.2% during financial year 22 From 8.2 percent during financial year 21. All right, so these are the five important data from this status report, and these are important. But the most important is the total external debt of India as on 31st March 2022, which is 620.7 billion dollars. All right, and therefore the correct answer is option A because that has been asked in the question. Question number seven. Now question. There is no question from this seventh news. Uh, so as you all know bangladesh prime minister sheikh hasina has visited india and during her visit various mous have been signed and various projects have been launched so i have put a list of all the mous have been signed and uh, between the organizations or the ministries between which the mous have been signed and the purpose right so you have to uh, read it once or twice to aapko dimag mein reh jayega and these are the list of projects which have been launched now these projects are not that important ठीक है तो जब आपका सारा चीज हो जाएगा उसके बाद आप इन प्रोजेक्ट्स को पढ़ना या याद करना ठीक है सो दीज आर वेरी बेसिक थिंग्स सो आई एम नॉट गोना वेस्ट योर टाइम ऑन दिस दीज आर द लिस्ट ऑफ मिनिस्ट्रीज बिटवीन विच दिन साइंड ऑल दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस दीज आर दर्पजेस फॉर विच दूज है लिस्ट ऑफ यू नो द प्रोजेक्ट विच है लॉन्च और अप्रूव और अनवील्ड और राइट लेट्स मूव है टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन देन Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has organized a conference come public expo to discuss multiple issues and opportunities in the roads transport and logistic sector what is the name of the expo you just have to tell the name of the expo what is the name of the expo so the name of the expo guys is manthan it is manthan and it has been organized by ministry of road transport and highways which is headed by mr nitin gadkari and his lok sabha constituency is nagpur the city of oranges all right now this manthan has been organized to discuss multiple issues and opportunities in the road sector in the highway sector in the transport sector right the theme was ideas to action and these were the areas of discussion number one is the roads in which there were various uh, discussions regarding road development new materials technology and road safety then number two it was transport 
in which the discussions were held regarding the electric vehicles and then alternate and future mobility like for example abhi ropeway ki hum baat kar rahe hain right is tarike ke jo alternate transportation system hai uske upar bhi discussion kiya gaya right so that is all about manthan and that is why the correct answer is what option b manthan question number 8 which ministry has launched a revamped curriculum on employability skills in association with quest alliance and national skill development corporation तो अगर ये वाली न्यूज आपने नहीं भी पढ़ी है देन यू कैन इजीली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेवलपिंग अ करिकुलम ऑन एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी स्किल्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्किल्स एंड देयर इज नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन एज वेल सो ऑटोमेटिकली द आंसर विल बी वॉट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप राइट ऑप्शन बी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड दिस मिनिस्ट्री इज एडेड बाय धर्मेंद्र प्रधान हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन राइट Now talking about this curriculum, so remember it has been launched in collaboration with Quest Alliance and National Skill Development Corporation. And through this curriculum, the ministry will provide the required skills like employability skills, digital skills, diversity and inclusion, career skills, etc., to the youth of the country. Right? And it has been launched as a part of the Shikshak Parv celebrations, which uh, which was held on fifth of September. That was the Teachers' Day, of course. at the dr ambedkar international center and it is being supported by future right skills network which is a non governmental organization and quest alliance uh, future right skills network which is a collaborative effort of these four organizations which are quest alliance accenture cisco and jp morgan and more than 2.5 million students over 15600 government and private itis will get benefit from this curriculum they will be provided with the required skills which are required for having the job having the employment for their career progression etc so that is why the correct answer is what as i already told you it is ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship moving ahead to question number 9 name the initiative launched by the office of principal scientific advisor and who is the principal scientific advisor to the uh, government of india ajay kumar sood Ajay Kumar Sood is the principal scientific advisor to empower women with a STEM background. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, mathematics. I hope you all know this and motivate them to contribute to the science, technology, and innovation ecosystem. So you just have to tell the name of the initiative which has been launched by the office of uh, principal scientific advisor to the government of India. So the initiative is West. What is the name? It is West. Now what is this West? women in engineering science and technology very basic full form women in engineering science and technology that is the full form of west and it has been launched under an already uh, implemented project of principal scientific advisor that is i stem right it is a new i stem initiative and what is this i stem by the way indian science technology and engineering facilities map right so why this program has been launched it was already mentioned in the question it will cater to women with a stem background so that they can progress in their career in the area of science technology engineering and mathematics through the west initiative i stem shall provide a separate platform to women researchers scientists and technologies for pursuing research jo ki humne already discuss kar liya and they will be provided the women under this initiative will be provided with the required skills which they require for enhancing their career in the uh, stem area okay and therefore the correct answer is west option c let's talk about question number 10 very very important question definitely a question is coming in your examination from this news it is regarding pm shri yojana so consider the following statements with respect to pm shri yojana and you have to identify the correct statements so let's talk about this what is this pm shri yojana remember it has been launched by ministry of education and now it has been approved as a centrally sponsored scheme theek hai now pm shri stands for pm schools for rising india what is the full form pm schools for rising india now from the full form we can easily identify the objective of the scheme pm schools for rising india matlab we the government intends to you know strengthen the infrastructure of the school so that we achieve the target that we have set uh, for the country By the year 2047, Amrit Kal ke jo hamare targets hain, wo achieve kiye ja sake, right? So that is the objective: development of more than 14,500 schools across the country, 
as PM Shri schools, and this will be done by strengthening the strengthening the selected existing schools. जो already existing schools हैं, उनको strengthen किया जाएगा. And all the facilities, all the you know required facilities will be there in these schools, right? Like ICT हो गया, uh, infrastructure हो गया, अच्छे uh, you know labs हो गए. अच्छे रिसर्च के चीजें हो गई टिंकरिंग लैब्स हो गई एवरीथिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड राइट स्मार्ट बोर्ड्स हो गए स्मार्ट क्लासरूम हो गए एवरीथिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड इन दीज पीएम श्री स्कूल द स्कूल विल शो केस ऑल द कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020। इट विल एक्ट एज देर दीज स्कूल विल एक्ट एज एग्जाम्पलर स्कूल एंड ऑल्सो ऑफर मेंटोरशिप टू अदर स्कूल इन देर विसिनिटी राइट एंड टोटल फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड स्कूल विल बी एस्टेब्लिश एज पीएम श्री स्कूल अक्रॉस द कंट्री Now the Ministry of Course is Ministry of Education, as I told you. Total outlay will be two seven three six zero crores, out of which the centre's contribution will be one eight one two eight crores, right? And the rest will be borne by the respective state governments, जहाँ जहाँ पे भी PM Shri schools बनेंगे. The period of implementation, which means the the number of schools targeted, will be constructed by the end of financial year two thousand and twenty seven. Starting from this financial year, that is financial year twenty three. and how the schools will be selected there is a process so it will be done through challenge mode theek hai the schools will be selected through a challenge mode in which schools compete for support to become exemplar schools see if i want to have support from the government of india or the state government then i would have to compete with the other schools right so that is the uh, process through which the schools will be selected schools would be required to self apply on the online portal the portal will be open four times a year once every quarter and the elementary schools kon kon se schools eligible honge the elementary schools and the secondary or senior secondary schools managed by center state or ut government or the local self governments having udi se plus code theek hai this udi se plus code should be there these schools would be considered for selection as pm shri school or you can say for development as for development as pm shri schools theek hai मैक्सिमम टू स्कूल्स वन एलिमेंट्री एंड वन सेकेंडरी और वन सीनियर सेकेंडरी वुड बी सिलेक्टेड पर ब्लॉक और अर्बन लोकल बॉडी एक ब्लॉक या फिर एक अर्बन लोकल बॉडी में एक एलिमेंट्री स्कूल होगा और एक सेकेंडरी या फिर सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल होगा राइट जियो टैगिंग ऑफ स्कूल फॉर द सिलेक्शन एंड मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ पीएम श्री स्कूल विल बी डन दी प्रोजेक्ट विल बी जियो टैग वट एवर द डेवलपमेंट इज बींग डन इन अ पीएम श्री स्कूल ऑल द डेवलपमेंट विल बी जियो टैग एंड फॉर दिस जियो टैगिंग द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन has collaborated with bhaskaracharya national institute for space application and geoinformatics bisag n right and finally it will provide benefits to more than 18 lakh students in these schools all right so that is all about this scheme guys and now let's come back to the question under the scheme 14500 schools across the country will be developed sahi baat hai total outlay is 27360 crores Which includes a central share of one eight one two eight crores, absolutely correct. And the period of implementation is five years, that is financial year twenty three to financial year twenty seven. This is also correct. So option E is the correct answer. All are correct. Moving ahead to question number eleven. Now question number eleven, guys, is also very important because the Minister of Commerce and Industry Piyush Goyal is on uh, uh, the visit to United States of America. So, वहां पे उन्होंने एक इनिशिएटिव लॉन्च किया है दैट इज नोन एज वॉट सेतु सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग दैट नेम दी प्रोग्राम लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्टर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री इन यूएसए टू कनेक्ट स्टार्टअप इन इंडिया टू यूएस बेस्ड इन्वेस्टर्स एंड स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम लीडर्स विद मेंटोरशिप एंड असिस्टेंस इन वेरियस एरिया राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट इट इज सेतु विच स्टैंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स इन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड अपस्किलिंग सपोर्टिंग ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स इन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड uh upskilling right that is the full form now under this program what will happen is that the uh, the the entrepreneurs the us based entrepreneurs will provide support to the indian india based entrepreneurs or the new startups theek hai unko wo support provide karayenge this initiative would connect startups in india to us based investors and startup ecosystem leaders with mentorship and assistance This setu will provide access of mentorship to Indian startups from the US based investors or the entrepreneurs who are willing to provide support to the Indian startups. The interaction will be supported through the mentorship portal. There is a mentorship portal which is uh, which belongs to the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, which is named as Marg, right? 
मार्ग ना वट इज दिस मार्ग मेंटोरशिप एडवाइजरी असिस्टेंस रेजिलियंस एंड ग्रोथ प्रोग्राम ठीक है इट इज अगल स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल दी स्टार्टअप इन द कंट्री and under the setu program mentorship is being initiated in tier 2 tier 3 and tier 4 cities across the country theek hai sare cities mein nahi hoga only in the tier 2 tier 3 and tier 4 towns or cities uh, across the country the wahi ke startups ko support provide karaya jaye all right ye mark wali cheez yaad rakhna and there is no need to go into the details of this mark that is not required and therefore the correct answer is option b once again setu Let's talk about question number 12 then. Now from question number 12, these are the short or you can say these are the short answer question which requires no explanation or no details. Now please don't underestimate these short questions because abhi jo Nabad ka exam hua hai, usme maine ek cheez dekhi hai ki in short answer questions mein se hi kam se kam 3 se 4 question fase hai. So please don't underestimate these questions as well, okay? So how many PM Gati Shakti cargo terminals will be developed over the next five years as per the <coughs> revised policy on long-term leasing railways land for implementing PM Gati Shakti framework? Now, first, isse pehle mein aap se ek aur question poochunga. How many PM Gati Shakti terminals will be announced, uh, uh, were announced in the union budget 2022-23? Please write down in the comments. And as per the recent release, so how many pm gati shakti cargo terminals will be established so that is 300 in the upcoming 5 years option e is the correct answer name the portal launched by department of consumer affairs food and public distribution in 2020 for inexpensive speedy and hassle free mechanism for filing consumer complaints now for consumer complaints this portal was launched in the year 2020 by this department and the name is e dakhil E Dakhil is the name of the portal. Now, very recently, this department has launched a mascot. In one egg, mascot launched kiya tha for consumer awareness. Can you name that mascot? Write down in the comments. Agar nahi pata hai, no problem. I will tell you the answer in the next class. Jo log pehli baar aa rahe hai, ya jino ne abhi preparation shuru kari hai, don't worry guys. Unko mein pata dunga. This question is for them, jo ki abhi Nawad ka exam dene jane wale hai. Question number 14. With which country Union Cabinet has approved an MOU on cooperation in the field of disaster management? So in such questions, no details are required unless something important uh, has happened. So in the field of disaster management, the cooperation, uh, the MOU has been approved with Maldives. Option C is the correct answer. What is the national target of total food production for the year 22-23? Very, very important question for the upcoming Nabad phase 2. The national target of food production for the year 22-23 is 3280 lakh ton. Option A is the correct answer. And this was announced by the Union Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare during an event. All right. Question number 16. What is the target, pro, target of production of pulses by the year 2025? So again, in the same event, he talked about the target of production of pulses also. And the target is 325 lakh tons. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 17. With which country Union Cabinet has approved an, an MOU on cooperation in the field of education? Now, there was an MOU which was signed with UK in the field of education ticket to recognize each other's degrees and universities. Now, this is something different. Uh, this MOU has been approved with UAE. Option A is the correct answer. During the CII Global MedTech Summit titled Seizing the Global Opportunity, Dr. Jitendra Singh has said that the healthcare sector in India is expected to grow to reach a size of how much by the year 2025. Basically, the question is what will be the size of the healthcare sector in India by the year 2025? So the target is 50 billion dollars, 50 billion dollars, option C. 19 pe aja hai, with which business school, National Institute of Entrepreneurship and Small Business Development and Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship have individually signed an MOU to offer world-class management education through entrepreneurial programs targeted towards youth, job seekers and budding entrepreneurs. Now, can you tell me the name of this business school? This is ISB, Indian School of Business, with which 
two individual MOUs have been signed by these two organizations. All right. Question number 20. Minister of Health and Family Welfare headed by Mansuk Mandavia, who is also the Minister of Chemical and Fertilizers, has laid the foundation of National Center for Disease Control in six states. Very, very important question. Which of the following is not one of the six states? So these are the six states, guys. I have put the name for your reference. These are Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Kerala, Maharashtra, Tripura and Uttar Pradesh. So out of these five, which one is not that? So Andhra Pradesh is there, Arunachal, Kerala, Maharashtra, Odisha is not there. Option E will be the correct answer. Okay. Question number 21. As a follow-up of the National Education Policy 2020, Four national curriculum frameworks are being developed using bottom-up approach, wherein states and UTs are also involved in providing the inputs for the national curriculum frameworks. Which of the following is not one of the four NCS? And of course, I uh, I believe you all know that national education policy was developed by a committee which was headed by Mr. K. Kasturi, Kasturi Rangan. Right? And... These four NCFs are school education, early childhood care and education, teacher education and adult education. Option E is not one among the four. Information and communication technology in school education. Right? Option E is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number 22. Ministry of Cooperation has set up a national level committee for drafting of national cooperation policy and realizing the vision of Sahkar Se Samriddhi. Who is the chairperson of this committee? Very, very important question. Bhai sahab, Nabad ke liye, bhoat important hai ye. The chairperson of this commission, of this committee, guys, is Mr. Suresh Prabhu. Right? Who is the chairperson? It is Suresh Prabhu who is the chairperson of this committee. For which states, farmers, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, headed by Narendra Singh Tomar, Lok Sabha constituency is Morena, has raised the limit from 25 quintals to 40 quintals for purchase of moong and urad under price support scheme. Now, here farmers ki thodi halat kharaab thi and that is why the government has decided uh, to increase the purchase limit, purchase price limit from rupees 20, from 25 uh, quintals to 40 quintals. Now, the government will buy 40 quintals, right? Of what crops? Of moong and urad. And the state in question, guys, is Madhya Pradesh. Option B is the correct answer. Shivraj Chauhan is the chief minister. With which country, country's federal ministry for economic cooperation and development, Niti Aayog has held the inaugural dialogue of development for uh, development cooperation. Now this is very direct question and this news mein hume kuch extra pande ki zarurati nahi hai. Just remember it is Germany. This has been done with the federal ministry for economic cooperation and development of Germany. And Germany is the place where is the country where G7 summit took place. All the G20 meetings took place in this year in the in Indonesia. In Indonesia. And G20 summit will take place in 2023 in India, of course. In India, of course. COP26 took place in Glasgow. COP26 took place in Glasgow. COP27 will take place in uh, Sharm al Sheikh city of Egypt. Sharm al Sheikh city. Sharm al Sheikh city is where? It is in Egypt. And Egypt, of course, is the ninth member of New Development Bank. And yeah, ASEAN. ASEAN summit took place in Cambodia. Cambodia may ASEAN summit do it. So you have to remember these important summits. And all the BRICS meetings and summits took place in the year 2022 is in China. So this is the number of China. Agile Saloiga, South Africa. All right, let's move ahead to question number 25. How many uh, teachers were awarded the President's Award on the occasion of Teachers Day? So the number is 45. Just remember the number. Of course, you, you can't remember the names of all the 45 teachers. And this is the National Teachers Day. The World Teachers Day is observed on 5th of October, one month after the National Teachers Day. National Mission on Clean Ganga and Sekar Bharti organized a Vishal Kisan Sammelan workshop for more than 400 farmers at Mubarakpur Bangar village in Bulan Shahar district. The question is very basic. In which state Bulan Shahar is located? Right? Very basic question. Uttar Pradesh. Bulan Shahar district belongs to Uttar Pradesh. Right? In which district of UP, Minister of Commerce and Industry has launched 
चुनार लॉजिस्टिक पार्क टू केटर टू द लॉन्ग फेल्ट नीड्स ऑफ लोकल एक्सपोर्टर्स इंपोर्टर्स एंड ट्रेडर्स फॉर देयर एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट एंड डोमेस्टिक ट्रेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो दिस चुनार इज लोकेटेड इन मिर्जापुर द लैंड ऑफ कालीन भैया ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर विद विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट अपीडा हैज ऑर्गेनाइज वॉट इज अपीडा एग्रीकल्चरल एंड प्रोसेस्ड फूड एक्सपोर्ट डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी एग्रीकल्चर एंड प्रोसेस फूड एक्सपोर्ट डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी हैज ऑर्गेनाइज एंड इन स्टोर एक्सपोर्ट प्रमोशन प्रोग्राम इन दुबई यू ए फॉर पाइन एपल कंज्यूमर्स सो मणिपुर के पाइन एपल बहुत फेमस है एंड इसलिए इसका आंसर होगा मणिपुर ट्वेंटी नाइन अंडर विच इनिशियटिव चीफ इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी ऑफिसर डीप डाइव ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस डिविजन विच वर्क एंड द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई टी हेडेड बाय अश्विनी वैष्णव and he is also the minister of railways all right now this has been organized under cyber surakshit bharat option a is the correct answer 30 where was the national sc st hub organized by the ministry of msme headed by narayan rane to spread awareness about the scheme which are meant for sc and st so there this was a uh, you know conference or uh, uh, national sc st hub it was a conference which was organized to tell sc or st to create awareness among the scs and st about the schemes which are meant for them and it was organized in collaboration with government of manipur in manipur <coughs> question number 31 which agency has topped the grievance redressal index released by department of administrative reforms and public grievances for the month of august 2022 जनरली आई डोंट टेक क्वेश्चन जो कि मंथली डेटा के बेसिस पे होते हैं बट दिस टाइम कनवर्ट एग्जाम द फेज टू इज कमिंग सो दे कैन आस्क यू फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस न्यूज एज वेल ठीक है सो फॉर दी मंथ ऑफ अगस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू द ग्रिवेंस रिड्रेसल इंडेक्स हैज बिन टॉप बाई यू आई डी आई यूनिक आइडेंटिटी यूनिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया थर्टी टू नेम द कॉमन रजिस्ट्रेशन फैसिलिटी लॉन्च बाई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड एंड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन to facilitate the states or ut in targeting the beneficiaries under nfsa which is national food security act and which reminds me of one nation one ration card which is now implemented in all 36 states and uts across the country and assam was the 36 state or ut to implement it right so this common registration facility is mera ration mera adhikar 33 as per the data released by ministry of electronics and it how much amount was transferred through dbt mode very important question to beneficiaries under various schemes in financial year 22 in the previous financial year so this amount guys is rupees 6.3 lakh crores which has been which was transferred through dbt mode to various beneficiaries under various schemes and the last question for today as per the department of gst the gross gst revenue collected in the month of august 2022 is this the revenues for the month of august 2022 are how much percent higher now again the monthly data are not important theek hai agar you guys are preparing for rbi 22 23 this question is not for you this question is only meant for the phase 2 of nabad examination that is it theek hai baaki logo ko padhne ki zarurat nahi hai this is 28% higher than the uh, gst revenue in the same month last year all right 28% So that's it for today's session, guys. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. You will get the PDF in the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And I will see you in the next session on Friday at 8 a.m. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.